Mr. James Asari Ajay, what or where do you see the chances and challenges of globalization for Africa? I think the chances of globalization for Africa are numerous. Uh, you have a situation where it allows investment flow and again it opens up the economy you know to a lot of businesses uh, definitely what we're looking for is to be able to learn you know from what is happening in other parts of the world now one because globalization has really made the world as a global village now what happens here is that you have uh, investors who then be interested in your economy if i really use uh, ghana as a typical example the current government is looking at initiatives you know of industrialization and that really attracts investment it also offers a lot of I mean, capacity building technology transfer uh, where you don't need to reinvent the wheel but then you have a situation where people have done it in the developed economies like germany and hence globalization is really bringing companies that have really learned the ropes here to Africa or to Ghana and you just take that advantage to also expand capacities. Of course there are some challenges and here we are talking about where companies or businesses in Ghana for example or in Africa in general don't have the capacities to compete. Now globalization brings about stiff competition and hence they need to be able uh, in some cases either they have to they have they are fragile companies and hence they will fold up. Uh, globalization also in some sense uh, takes away your sovereignty so you can't close yourself up you know to what is happening to the outside world but of course it's very good because it has helped a lot of countries in Africa to democratize because you have I mean those who have done it elsewhere looking at what you are doing and correcting you so invariably there are great opportunities that go with globalization and some challenges also that bring uh, come along with globalization. Why should foreign or German companies invest in Africa? Africa now is an emerging economy, is a new frontier. You see that uh, it is not the same as two decades or three decades ago. African countries, uh, many of them are becoming a lot more democratic. Um, rule of law and the stability. Now, for if you take Ghana, in the past uh, a quarter of a century, about 25 years, we have gone through seven successive elections. So we see stability, we see peace, you see, and hence if German companies, you know, invest in Ghana, it offers a regional hub. You know, what happens is that when you are investing in Ghana, you are not only looking at the 28 million population, but you are looking at a bigger sub-regional 350 million plus population. Ghana has the resources, the natural resources, we have the human resource, you know, uh, uh, probably average age, you know, of about 15 years, cheaper human resource and hence labor force in particular and also the natural resources, like I said. So I believe that uh, uh, German companies can take advantage of all these opportunities. And where the government is transparent, okay, and then making sure that we reduce all the bottlenecks of doing business, then I think it's the right time for German businesses to really come to Africa. In a nutshell, how can the economic partnership agreement between Africa and the EU help to facilitate partnerships between African, German or other European companies? You know, the EPAs, you know, when uh, it first came to the attention of the business community in Ghana, it was a difficult thing because, you know, some sessions of the session of the private sector was really against uh, the, 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 the implementation or the EPA. Others also are saying that, look, all that we have is a European market. So if you are going to have uh, a market which is going to be opened to us 100%, if we are going to have quota free, uh, uh, tax free, then definitely it is a good thing. So I believe that um, Ghanaian companies, and for that matter, other companies in the sub, in the sub region who are ascribing to, the EPA can take advantage of the fact that one, we have full access to the European market. We have even a certain point in time what we call technology transfer. 
we don't need to reinvent the wheel, but we can partner you know, stronger businesses, either in manufacturing, in agribusiness, or maybe sometimes in mining and infrastructure. You know, such that such uh, sort of capacities, financing, technology, and in some cases, capacity building, you know, can be brought to bear, you know, to grow our local businesses. Let me say quickly that what Africa needs now is not aid, but trade and investment. And hence, if we have partners, uh, in Germany or other European countries, then definitely we think that it's a huge opportunity that we cannot miss. So the EPA is really uh, something, a tool or a, an initiative that Ghanaian companies and also other African companies should really take advantage of.